Put your hands together. Show your love for my man Seth Alan Freaky. Language has been a lingering smell swinging in the throat of my family since we migrated. My breath reeks of Africa, homeland, motherland, the aroma of Arabic junk and seasoned crime on a bed of big broken bits of Liberian English, over marinated in my dingle, tenderizing my tongue like vinegar dialect dripping into my diaphragm, tattooing my chin. As if the world was my father's farm asking, who am I will fought my dialect? Hollow, without purpose, without meaning, without story. Without heritage, my breath would be stenched with confusion, fumbling the sounds of my ancestors. Because to lose my language would be to lose my life. Yes. Remember, remember who you are and where you come from. Thank you. I'm really from West Africa. From West Africa, my mother's from Liberia, my father's from Guinea. So just growing up, my, even though I was uh, born in, I came, we came, I mean, I was here for like a very young age. Uh, my mother used to send me and my brother to school in dashikis and things like that, slippers, dashikis, jewels, and stuff like that. And I remember one time at my graduation, my uh, uh, kindergarten graduation, something like that, my mom came in like full African gown. My father came, uh, garment, the hat, the kufi that laid to the side, like they wasn't playing, like they don't play. So I remember telling my mom, like, mom, please don't go in there, you're gonna embarrass me, like that. And it's stuck, you know, sometimes you say stuff to moms and they'll bring it up like 20 years later, like, mom, I was five, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, now, that's that's where the name Seth Ala Freaky comes from. Because before I used to be kind of embarrassed of my heritage, like, I, people ask me where you from, oh, I'm from Philly. Uh, you know, my parents, they from somewhere in Africa, but you know, we from Philly, like that. But it took me a long period of time to appreciate and understand that the work I had, like a lot of people don't even know where they came from. So to have that and to shy away from it, I'm an insult to my whole entire family, like that. So that's why, for the years that I, I, I lacked, I picked up now, Seth Al Afriki, which is like a, a term I picked up in Saudi Arabia, they used to call, they call you where you're from. So if you're from America, you'll be like uh, Vision Al Amriki. So they called me Seth Africa and I just came back and I took it and ran with it. So I'm so proud of where I'm from and I appreciate it and I love it. Uh, that's where the phone came from. Justice just is just ice. It tends to melt fast when no one's looking and no one's ever looking. So tell me who's watching freedom. This ain't the first time you let me down. Casket, confounded like the facial expression on Amadou Diallo's wallet. Did you really mistake me for a gun? Or should blue to blacks mean one? I meant, I meant slip into the swish of a thousand night sticks on a West Philly corner. I skia, how many pints of blood does it take to paint injustice? How many metal staples did it take you to keep your wits intact? Have you ever seen a forehead blush? Ruby, rosy, branch red like flail skin. How they beat you to the white meat? I bet they made old Willie Lynch proud. What did you say? I heard it was black on black crime. Take the mind, leave the body. But he had break the mind, beat the body. Tell bloody pope on the West Philly corner of Askia. Somebody please call the corner, cause I swear. I read it down 666, then 911. I heard you. 911 plays a significant part in 911, right? Which wasn't the only one that pushed the button, right? It's going down. Twin Towers. So October 20, 2010. Caught the confused corpse in the gas chamber of community court, your honor. Told us to plead no contest. Said in the court of law that. There is no contest, just you when I lose, but no, just ice. But word to just grab when just ice just melts. I hope Officer Mike Phelps can swim, slip, skits, and save me. Damn, Officer Grace, all I asked for was a break, but instead we got broken. Crack like Liberty Bell, like Sean Bell, like Oscar Grant's blood stained on the subway platform. Yeah, it was this the idea of justice? Just is, just ice. Tends to melt fast when no one's looking. No one's ever looking, so tell me who's watching freedom. Mm. Hey. So, that experience really made me strong as a person. And really made me realize that even though I'm a young man, I can make changes. Like, I have a voice. And, you know, when this whole situation went down, uh, we was in the courtroom and the judge told us to plead no contest. This is basically saying that we charge you with so-and-so offenses, 
you say I don't plead no contest, you know, I don't say anything to it, we'll let you offer some community service and you can go. My thing is we do community service every single day. You're not gonna give us community service. We're pleading not guilty. You sure you wanna do that? You should like that basically. Yep. And you know, we're like, no, we're not having it. We have some integrity, we stand for something. minds blind to the wickedness of this world I'm sure we were pure like posies in the pastures of heaven like the immaculate conception of Jesus and today today sees this in the darkness of nights and then our eyes open and they expose us to the meaning of malice and strife no distinction between wrong and right we will talk the strike before we can read and write we will talk the fight before we can ride a bike so just to my left and right, left, right, before we left, right, burnt buildings like my eye move joints like I'm really a weapon withered to the wickedness of man. I'm sorry for all of those I've murdered by the masses. For every village I've burnt down to ashes from Darfur to Damascus. I'm sorry for every raping, every molestation I've condoned. Breaking into homes, squeezing myself into victims as they moan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was merely a weapon. Prisoner of war, child, soldier. Yeah. It talks about the mind of an individual. And I did this poem. Like I, I like to go to Cyphers a lot. So I went to a Cypher around my way in Southwest Philadelphia, like one of the worst neighborhoods in Philadelphia. Before. And they're doing like a Cypher, like a rap Cypher. You know, I get hoes this, I do this on a block or whatever. So I go right to the Cypher. I start doing poetry. And like. I'm not feeling that. Like, we're not trying to hear that. So then I did another poem I did called Keep Going, kind of leans to hip hop a little bit. I always do, we like that, you know, we like that. So I'm like, did you hear what I was saying though? I know, no, it's just about the wordplay, it's just about you saying. I'm like, no, the time and effort I put in the writing that is what you should be listening to. Not just the wordplay, just because I sound nice. No, I did it and I said it for a reason. I was like, really upset. Like, no, I put time and effort in this. You see what I'm saying? No, I'm saying, it is. To get you off this corner and getting locked up every summer, then what's the point of me being here? I'm, oh, man. I'm not at the point, I'm not here to entertain you like that. Nice. So I went in the house and I wrote this poem. I was like pissed off. Like, <laughs> so I wrote this poem. Um, they say I have a way with words as if the mind didn't matter. They say never mind the mind, the rhyme's the only thing that matters, so Seth go in. I disagree, but I do. Sip the liquor, spit elixir, I'm addicted to the crack pipe pen crack. Paper white skin bleed, red sea open like Moses injecting a stab, or Moses injecting a stab, get a whole crowd giraffe just off my dopeness. What? I'm 21st century sophist. My isosceles is Plato and Socrates, but I'm at the peak of the Illuminati tree. Till somebody decide to get me body, cause I murdered act like Herb Gotti killed the sumo cum laude. Sensations, different shades, don't we all have our days when the rainbow just isn't enough? A chaotic moment away from loose neck and slip wrists. Moments when we've questioned God's will. Moments when we've forgotten how to pray. Traded bent spines for class palms and wear true religion in the genes, but atheists in the flesh. Strip when slip to the white meat, don't we all bleed the same color? Are we afraid of the same color? Dark melancholy night, don't we all always get it wrong and call it right? Don't we laugh in the same language, cry in the same tongue? Blind, deaf, and dumb. Some blind and deaf, but not dumb, just different. Like a mute poet, a paralyzed b-boy, or a painter with Parkinson's disorder, or autistic autism. Yeah, that's one definition of dumb smart. Dumb love. Dumb cool, dumb fly, dumb fresh, dumb hot like beatbox symphonies of Beethoven and Bach. One deaf, one blind, both dead, both live like Biggie Smalls, 13 years dead, but still the most live. Was this the idea of life after death? Yeah. Dumb and blind. I wish we all had the minds to write like Helen Keller. It's unfortunate. God hasn't blessed us all with being at least blind, deaf, or dumb. Give it up for Seth.